Welcome to this week's video update. Uh, today is Friday, October 28th. Let's go ahead and go over the trades that we did this week. We had two closing trades. Uh, let's go. With, let's start with those. We had a closing trade in TLT, a trade that we opened back on October 12th, and then we got out uh, on the 25th for a nice $64 profit. About a um, you know we're at about 40% of max profit on that, exactly where we want to take them off. And then on the EEM strangle, a uh, nice profit of about $90, and that was. Uh, we hit about 50% of max profit, which is where we want to take trades off on a strangle. So let's go to the platform and take a look at those. So on EEM, uh, we entered that trade on the 13th. So this day right here, and as you can see, that's when we had a spike in implied volatility, which is the perfect time to sell premium. And it worked exactly how we wanted. Sold uh, the uh, implied volatility contracted and price stayed in our range, so we took that off for a, uh, for a nice profit uh, in 15 days. Uh, and then let's go to TLT, it was the other closing trade we made. Kind of a similar scenario. We put the trade on right about here when implied volatility was over 50, waited for that contraction to happen, took it off on the 25th, for a, for a quick profit in, in 15 days. So that's exactly how you want to trade this type of strategy. Put it on when implied, implied volatility is high, wait for that contraction. Let's look at the opening trades, or excuse me, the current portfolio. So we've got eBay. This was the trade that we put on right before earnings as a kind of an earnings play. It went severely against us. We rolled down the calls to collect more credit. And now we're sitting here, at, it, we're down just slightly on the trade. Uh, considering the credits we, t we took in. We might actually be up a little bit. I haven't figured it yet, but I'd like to see this stay in the range, possibly get a small up move in eBay next week, and then and then take this off for a small profit. Uh, EWW is another trade that we've got on. Oops, EWW. So we've got a strangle here, uh, continuing to stay pretty centered on our graph wait for uh, a little bit more time decay, wait for that theta to grow for us, and we'll probably be able to take that one off next week. And IWM, Iron Condor, again, we're in the profit here, but waiting for some more profit before we take that one off. And then the opening trade that we made is X, XBI. And you can see we, we put this on yesterday uh, and implied volatility was already over 50, but we've had a nice not a nice, but an increase in implied volatility today, which has actually hurt our position. So you can see our, our pro, we're actually down about $50, $49 on this. Uh, and that's that's and it's still extremely centered on our graph. So that's completely that completely has to do with the spike in implied volatility. And that's why you want to put these on when it's when it's higher, because you don't want to get hurt from the increase. Now, once we have a contraction, we'll get that back and hopefully everything will be okay there, but if we need to adjust or do anything, we will make it happen. So that is all for this week's video. Hope everybody has a great weekend, and we will see you at the next video. Talk to you soon.